let's talk about cell cycles, cell division, and cancer. So there are two basic reproduction strategies, asexual and sexual. So asexual reproduction means offsprings are going to be genetically identical to the parent. They are clones. And genetic variation comes from mutations. So you can have random mutations or we can induce certain mutations at certain times. Um, so prokaryotes usually reproduce asexually and that process is called binary fission and some single-celled eukaryotes can also reproduce asexually but their process is called mitosis followed by cytokinesis. Now some of the multicellular eukaryotes like plants or fungi can also reproduce by asexual means. Now, sexual reproduction involves gametes, so it means an organism needs to be able to produce gametes that are going to be two different types, and when those gametes fuse during the process of fertilization, uh, the chromosome number is restored. So typically, sexual repro reproduction gives us uh, genetic variation, which is very important as far as natural selection and then evolution. So gametes are formed by meiosis, and meiosis has two sets of divisions. In other words, it produces four cells from one, and then um, those cells are going to be haploid. Sexual life cycles are definitely diverse, and you can see uh, some examples right here in the slide, and uh, they all involve meiosis and the production of um, gametes. So let's take a look at this um, bread mold. So notice when the bread mold is matured organism, it's really, this dominant stage is really, it's a um, haploid stage because spores are going to grow into mature organism. And then the mature organism will produce these bimatoses, two types of gametes. So you'll have male gametes and female gametes. So when the hyphae of fungi fuse in two different hyphae, male and female, fertilization occurs and that forms a zygote. And notice the zygote is the only diploid stage in this particular organism. So zygote undergoes meiosis and then produces spores again. And so the cycle continues. So notice how this matured organism uh, is going to um, have haploid or haplontic lifestyle. And then um, this um, fern here can vary between the generations. So we call that alternation of generations. So there is a sporified stage, which is diploid, and also there is a haploid stage, which is called gametophyte. So I'm going to start with a gametophyte. So gametophyte originates from the spore, and the spore originates because of meiosis. So when the spore develops into gametophyte, by the way, gametophytes are so tiny, they're literally microscopic, and I have a tiny little picture here for you to see. Um, they have these two important regions. One region produces sperm and the other region produces eggs. And uh, when the sperm swim to the egg, this is where fertilization occurs. And then we have the formation of zygote. So you can see from that point on, the zygote develops into a sporophyte, which is the dominant stage of the fern. So whenever you see the actual fern, that is its sporophyte stage. So that means it's a diploid stage. And if you look uh, on the underneath side of the frond, which is that leaf of the fern, you're going to see sporangia that contains um, these spores. Now, in case of um, mammals, so any animals, the dominant stage is going to be diploid, and that includes us. All our cells are diploid except the gametes. So meiosis, that happens in... Um, testes and ovaries produces gametes, male and female, depending on the organism, and then the process of fertilization is going to restore that chromosome number, produce a zygote, and zygote is going to divide by mitosis and grow that organism. So when we think of cell division, we don't want to think about, okay, this is just for reproduction. Obviously, cells are going to divide when you have some sort of tissue injury and you have and you need tissue repair. So, of course, the cells are going to divide to heal that tissue. Uh, cells are dividing for growth. So, if you take a look at the zygote, which is fertilized egg, 
the zygote divides into two cells and those two cells divide into two more and the next thing you know you have a blastula which is this hollow sphere and uh, blastula develops into different layers of tissues during gastrulation and then this is how the organism is going to mature and develop into an adult. So you can see and appreciate how many different signaling pathways are taking place here and how these cells become specialized and how they communicate with one another. It really is beyond, uh, beyond amazing. Um, so binary fission and mitosis, um, both of these events or these types of cell divisions um, are regulated by certain, by certain major uh, factors. So first, they both have to receive reproductive signals, so you can initiate the cell division, and then replication, DNA replication happens, and then DNA needs to be separated. You have to distribute that DNA into two different cells, and then most of the times it will be followed by cytokinesis, which means the division of the cytoplasm so that you can separate those two new daughter cells that result.